Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. As we know, many of the participants of this Jalsa Salana are women. In fact, Lajna play a very important and active role in the organization of this Jalsa Salana. For Lajna and Maila UK, it has been a year-long effort to bring these three days to fruition. To discuss these efforts, I'm joined by the Nazma Ayala, Sadr Lajna UK, Nasra Rahman Saiba. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Salam. I'm also joined by Caroline Hamida Kar from Zion, Illinois, in America. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum, Salam. And finally, Dr. Faria Khan Saiba, who is the Naib Sadr and the Naib Nazma Ayala in this Jalsa Salana. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum, Salam. Thank you all for joining us. We just want to talk briefly, first of all, about the preparations for this Jalsa, Sadr Saiba. Can you talk about the efforts that have gone into this Jalsa? Um, yes, I'll. You're correct saying that's a year-long process. Um, we have, mashallah, over 3,000 volunteers and it start all ages, from young children to grandmothers. Everyone, are, everyone is dedicated and they want to take part in the Jalsa Salana. It is something that is part of their blood. It's something they've been bought up with and it's something that represents the Jamaat. Uh, Dr. Freya, uh, what about you? What, are, what, do you? what have you been involved in in terms of the preparation and what are your duties here at Jalsa? Um, there are a few departments that I oversee over Jalsa and one of them is cards registration which is your ID card and then the next step when you get your card scanned and afterwards all the security as well. So these are the three main departments that I oversee over okay. Jalsa. So this about, are there any unique challenges or issues um, that are faced on the ladies Jalsaga um, that may not be faced on, on the men's Jalsaga? Well, um, I'm sure everyone knows that ladies like their handbags and also women when they come, they come as a family. So normally there's a pram and there's baby things to bring and so for security I think we, take, we need to be much more intense, much more detail and it takes longer. So our aim is to make it a pain as an effort as possible so they can come and enjoy the spirit of Jalsa. Hamida, this is your first UK Jalsa, yes, uh, although great. you have attended Jalsas in the past. Very what is your great. first impressions of this Jalsa? I was just so blown away by the expansiveness and the, 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 the wonderful, generous hospitality that uh, UK Jalsa has uh, extended to the United States uh, delegates. It was so exciting. I'm so pleased. We had uh, five-star treatment, and I'm just loving this and, and just really, really enjoying and, and basking in the, in the wonderful uh, treatment and uh, Hazur's glorious speeches that we've enjoyed today, and I'm just still very excited. What are you most looking forward to um, in terms of this Jalsa? You've been attending Jalsas for 40 years, I understand, yes, in the U.S. for a long time. And this one has been very, very, very special because I was invited as a special delegate. And that was, that was just really rewarding. And I had a wonderful time at the airport, which was really surprising. I uh, had anticipated having a little trouble at the airport, but I showed my letter of, uh, of invitation and it was smooth sailing. I just it was thrilling. Uh, Dr. Freya, uh, one of the, th the, the highlights of Jalsa uh, is um, Khalif al masihs sermons, his speeches to everyone here. And for the past year, we've been hearing Hazur talk a lot about the, the state of the world, um, the, the crisis, economic crisis, social, moral crisis. Um, what do you think is our role as women um, in facing these challenges and facing the world as it is? I think the. Uh, Oh, as, as women, we play many, many roles in society and especially in Islam, Islam gives a very high status to women and I think if you look at how a woman can play a role, first of all that role has to start at home. Okay, the kind of peaceful environment that she has at home is the beginning and then actually going out and spreading that awareness of Islam through tabligh to other women and opening their eyes up to all the wonderful things that we get exposed to being Muslims and especially being Ahmadi Muslims and we are so blessed that we have Khilafat and our Khalifa and our spiritual leader guides us. So through whatever venue that we have in our society, environment, friends, so we can spread that word and it doesn't have to be really strong or 
um, long conversations, but little things, and it, it does help. What um, has went to Germany, and I, and, the, and when he addressed the ladies, the the term he used was make your homes a heaven mm. on this earth, and I think that is such a strong message for women to keep peace. If they keep peace in their homes, that will extend to peace in the world, and so I think that's a, a really important, strong message to us for them. Yeah. I mean, that you come from a, a non md uh, Muslim background, that's and, right. and you, you're living in a culture which is, of course, non-Muslim. Do you think Islam Ahmadiyat has something to offer women as they face these times and face? the world as it is today. Very much so. Uh, is, uh, Ahmadid has always been just very, very uh, uh, supportive and nurturing and um, showing women love and how to be in the world and to make the world a better place. Uh, Hazur in one of his khutbah makes reference to the quality of zina, which is the quality of gentleness and charm that we, ha that we can use as women to help heal and nurture some of the wounds that have that have uh, plagued our society. Um, I uh, have participated in Humanity First efforts as, as part of the Ahmadiyya movement and uh, have had the opportunity to visit Guatemala and see the efforts towards medical care and relief for um, families in Guatemala and uh, third world, other third world countries. Um, I also work as a personal, in my personal profession as a, a children's therapist. Mm -hmm. So I've seen children that have been um, uh, harmed and damaged emotionally and uh, traumatized. So part of my work, my personal work, is part of my spiritual work within this movement. Yeah. Hearing you speak now reminds me that one of the purposes of Jalsa is to hear each other's experiences and, and to talk about them and see how we can best live our lives. Um, but I want to ask each of you, what do you want to take away from this Jalsa personally um, in your roles as Lejna, but also in, in, in your roles as Amadi women? So this up, if we can begin with you. I mean, Jalsa is such a great gathering and a pers personally, it reminds me of my link with the promised Messiah, Les Salam. He, he established Jalsa Salana and for me to be part of continuing that amazing, that tradition and for uh, the Jalsa and the purpose to bring us all together and I think that is a strong message looking in the marquee today. We had 10,000, over 10,200 ladies and children today and mashallah, uh, I've heard lots of good things about it. That's fantastic. Hamida, what about you? What are you going to take away from this what three days? What I want, want to take away and what I am taking away is this huge sense of uh, loving and connectedness with the world of humans and humanity. And I, I believe that Islam, Ahmadiyya, exemplifies that effort in the world. And so that's, that's what I'm excited about. That's what I want to continue. Okay, and Dr. Freya, what about you? I think for me and for the, uh, for the rest of the legend as well, I think the goal is, is the same. I mean, our Jalsa is special, but it's special because of the presence of Huzur. And I think that's the, that's the main thing. So if after this Jalsa we feel that our bond to Khalifa Vat and our obedience to him is stronger as a community and personally as well, that, it, that would be my personal goal to achieve. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being here today and for joining us. Um, as we know, we don't have much time. However, the blessings of Jatsa and the blessings of these three days are going to be with us for not just the whole year, but really our entire lives. And that's something that every man, woman, and child takes away from every Jalsa Salana. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.